Hello and welcome into another Harry Potter 2 PC meme run and today I have quite the interesting one for you, especially for people that like maths. We called this run magic number percent and obviously the magic number is 7. So we had to do everything related to a 7 in this run, which meant 7 wing world potions at the end, 7 ingredients each, 7 secrets in the final level, the house points had to be a multiple of 7, we had to beat 7 duels, and then most importantly, the cards. We had to collect every card that's a multiple of 7. So we had to collect card 7, 14, 21, and so on and so on. I think you see the pattern. And you might wonder, why not every card that is like a 70, like 70, 71, 72? The issue with that is that it would need the gold card challenge to unlock. Which you can only do by getting 40 wizard cards, which again means you would collect cards that are not multiples of 7 or have a 7 inside their number. So a bit more complicated, but I think the solution we found was the best. Multiples of 7 is the way to go, and now have fun with this magic number percent. Thanks for watching. Yeah, it's quite the <laughs> it's quite the change of pace from Legacy yesterday, you know, in terms of graphics, that's very true. Yeah, I, I'm happy that we got like something at least, even though my Renrock time is still, you know, it needs a lot of improvement. And I'll get there, I'll improve it. Probably next week. I enjoyed streaming, people seem to have enjoyed it as well, even though I think the boost in viewers was like from the drops, but you know. Um, Geobass, Fedrich as well. How is it going? Okay, come on, he name dropped me in that stream range, of course, of course I had to enjoy it. <laughs> it's kind of cool. He said someone's gonna tell Nixo to do this. <laughs> Little did he know I've been through the pain already of upside down HP games, but still. I was like, hey, look at this. It's number seven, Hesper Starkey. The, the best card. <laughs> Something like that. I'm sure once Sammy arrives, he can, he can do it better, but... Um... I also have no idea what she did, to be completely honest. And now that it's in Swedish, I have absolutely no clue. But hey, the first seven in this run. Ten? Already? Wait, ten? We only do sevens today. What the hell? How dare you resubbing for ten months? Thank you so much, Luke, for honestly, that's a long ass time. <laughs> Has it been almost a year? So it's been a year in like July? That's insane. Thank you so much, I appreciate the resub. That's very kind. Really didn't have to, thank you. Nope, I got number seven, Hasper Starkey, inventor of uh, something, something. The best card. <laughs> and Yukas, Warrington, of course. Welcome in. Okay, so we're good on the first card. We're doing well. Updated your driver seems fine now. Nice. Glad that it was an easy fix. Hey, thank you, Dennis, for the good luck. You're my next as well. It's good to see everyone around. How's it going? Forgot about those splits. Enter class is <laughs> one of the best ones. It's like a top star split, but I don't think he renamed that. It was probably someone else. I don't fully remember. Okay, there's cards in Rick to Sempra that we need. And there's one where I'm not entirely sure where it is. Uh, that I know it's in Rick to somewhere, but I'm not sure which one. <laughs> Death. Death deserves a wizard card, honestly. Made like the most powerful magical artifact. Or been here for a year already, but it wasn't subbed. Wasn't always subbed. Oh yeah, that's actually fair, yeah. Also not unfortunately at all, that's very understandable. Press every seventh arrow key. Okay, seven stars as well, that's what I have to keep in mind. So we, we get all the easy ones, obviously. Um... Ah. So, so they did end. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I'm glad you can get some rest again. That's nice. And I'm glad they went well. Thank you so much for the good luck, Polsky. Always good to see you around. Welcome in. Look at this. Number 63, which is a multiple of 7 times 9. Herman Wintringham. Something something... Weird Sisters. The best card. I'll do that for them all, I think. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine the exhaustion. That must be quite rough. Okay, the thing is though, I'm not sure where the other one is that we need. <laughs> I'm not sure where the other multiple of seven is, but it's it's gonna be somewhere. Somewhere in this level, we'll find out. Thank you so much for the good luck, Mango. Mike as well. I will not fake the Australian accent. Nope. I'll get yelled at by chat, I can already tell you. Ah, okay, gotcha. Ah, you'll, you'll figure it out though. You can maybe, like, remove the RGB. Wait, why am I collecting this? 
That's not the one I need. <laughs> I'm gonna reload that. We're not getting the wrong cards. What the hell? Yeah, I would say collecting a non divisible by seven card, dividable by seven card is not allowed. Yep. It looked like HP3 until I saw the health bar for me. I'm not used to the new engine, I guess, but yeah. Nice soft lock. I love it. <laughs> and now I'm actually really looking forward to this stream. Uh, no, luckily enough, none of them is a gold card. The latest one is in Chamber. It's at the um, the Snail Bridge. That's the last one we need. The one where everyone dies with the <laughs> with the Hess. Okay, I believe it's this one. Remember you talking about this with Sammy? Yeah, he, re he requested this like two months ago or something. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, fingers crossed, Sajuk. You got this. You'll figure it out. And yo, thank you so much for the 10 month as well, Mango. Another non-7 resub? SMH. This should be one. This is Gideon Crump. Something something in the Weird Sisters. The best card. 56, so times 8. Quick maths. Another multiple of 7. Already got 3 of them. Why am I getting random cards? Wait, this is actually one we need though. 93? No, 93 is not one we need. That's not a multiple of seven. Ignore me. I'll reload my game real quick. <laughs> it should be a fast run if I stop collecting random things. I'm way too used to all wizard cards. Okay, that's Gideon Crump again. Let's skip this card. We don't need this card. <laughs> nope. And don't learn about it, Kedavra. Yeah, he wouldn't, he wouldn't get the Dark Arts, that's true. I mean, why would you need the Dark Arts if you already have the best spell with XP Armors? Okay, one of the stars I'm definitely skipping. One of the seven that we need. I skipped one in the other room as well. So we can skip only one to get seven. Oh yeah, I've seen that as well. I've seen that as well as a short, yep. Uh, which one? I guess that's the one below that I want to skip. Yeah, so this one I have to get. So we actually make it to seven. Whoops. That's fine. This this one's not too bad. Like not too far out of the way. I think I, I think I skipped the optimal ones, really. There's like a lot just in your way. Wait, actually? I skipped Did I skip too many? Should I need the one at the bottom, don't I? <laughs> Wait, imagine knowing this game. <laughs> That's five. Wait, I, I skipped too many. I have like, I don't have enough star- Where did I skip stars? Oh yeah, in the first room. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do that again. We'll replay this challenge. This is a bit scuffed, but it's also early in the stream for me. I need to get, uh, need to warm up, of course, and not be stupid. That would be great. I forgot there's stars in here. <laughs> I won't lie. I was so busy focusing about the cards. I forgot those exist. What is that spell? The the rotating one? It can happen sometimes. It's really annoying. I propose adding Bridget Wenlock, famous Arithmancer, first to establish the magical properties of the number seven. That is actually a good proposal. Ooh, that is a good proposal. Where is she in this game, do you know? First Scourge card? You know, I would be very down collecting that one, honestly. I think I think that would should kind of be part of this run. I think that was an oversight on Sammy's part, and I'm just gonna change his rules. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, now we're actually skipping the correct amount of wizard car elf stars. Ignore the first playthrough, you know, we didn't, um... That, that never happened. I, I think I should collect that card as well, honestly. So it's, it's a good addition. I mean, we won't understand it in Swedish, but I'll trust that that is our card text. Oh god, this is terrible. What first playthrough? Exactly. Exactly unplayable and welcome in. Seven stars. Perfectly timed. That's exactly what I meant to go for. And um, that means we can get out of Rick to Sampra. Beautiful. How's it yo, Rene? Fredo as well with the seven bits. What the hell? <laughs> that's, a, that's a great way to come into the channel. Or the, today. How have you been? Both of you. I heard about the PC thing, Rene, which um, really sucks to read. But at least now you have a good excuse to buy a new one, so that's something, but yeah. You know, that's really rough. Tech issues are always the worst. Alohomora. The best star. Okay, no cards until Scourge, so we just kind of... I want to collect some beans, we have to duel a lot. Good that they're cheap, yeah. If only, if only. 
We have to duel a lot to get 777 beans, but that's kind of like not my worry at all. Like the beans are gonna be fine. They're gonna be very chill. <laughs> all right, sounds fair, dudes. Good luck taking care of that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You can check like if any parts survive. That's a good point. Yeah. Nah, that's not good. Just as the Rene, Rene streams returned, that's kind of rough. But yeah, let's hope that. Like, definitely HDD is the most important one. The pain if you get 778. If that happens, I'll just collect a couple more and buy, like, flubberworm mucus or something. So we spend 50 on that to go down a bit. Uh, it's going really well. What about yourself? How is your Wednesday been, Melodia? Thank you for joining in. We're having some interesting runs today. It's like I, I really like the really like the concept of this one. We're doing everything related to the number seven. Very magical. You need seven mucus and seven bark. Nope. I refuse to do that. And seven potions. I mean you know what? We could technically do that. Do we wanna do that? Hmm. I think we should yeah, we can do that. We could we should extend on this run a bit, honestly. I kinda like I kinda like the idea. I, I'm sure Sammy won't mind that we take his run and, like, extend a bit. Is there anything else you can get seven in the menu? No, right? Seven house points, but that's impossible. Because you always have more. I open HP1, by the way. Ignore me. We longer than insane percent, max percent. Nah, it's not that bad. Yo, uh, Jamie. It, it wouldn't take that long. Seven secrets in every level. <laughs> but not every level has seven secrets. The house points I can, like, time. That's That doesn't... Seven times opening HP1, we can do that. I mean, I'd like house points and HP2 are so stupid the way they they give them to you. Seven fingers per hand. I, know, I could technically do that, but I'd rather not. Like I don't know how you would do that because you can't lose them apart from to McGonagall. So you would have to lose them in the beginning of the game, and then like you you. That's the issue. You you cannot lose house points. You must down seven butter beer in seven seconds. Oh god, talking about a challenge. To be fair, I feel like butter beers drinking them quickly seems like a pain. Like I don't know. I, I have never had butter beers. The official recipe, but for some reason they don't. It doesn't seem very pleasant to drink them fast to me. Hey, yo Yoshi, how is it going? Seven gnomes on the toilet. Nope. Not doing that. There's, you know, at some point there's too much sevens, but I'm very down for like the ingredients and the potions. That's that's pretty fine. You could, yeah, there's a second time it opens, I believe, before uh, Defendo McGonagall's classroom opens, and you can go in and lose points. But still, even then, there's like so much game left, and I just like I couldn't tell you how they calculate the house points. I just don't. Don't think it's possible. Seven. Oh, the Battle of the Seven Harrys, yeah. This includes 7.1 now. Today is the 17th of May. Oh, yeah, that is true. And the sum of 2023 is also seven. Oh, my God, that's true. That's so true. It's not the seventh month of the year, but it's close to the seventh month of the year. That's actually kind of cool. I agree. It's all, it's all lining up, it's all meant to be. The count of points plus some Gryffindors plus Dumbledore, yeah. Pretty much zero plus like maybe 10, 20 points that Gryffindors get, plus whatever Dumbledore does to rig the house cup. That's pretty much how the points work. <laughs> okay, so we need... Uh, yeah, we need this one then, because we want to expand a bit on it. So this is not a multiple of seven, but it is Bridget Wenlock, who is uh, a fa famous mathematician something something properties of the number seven. Really should be involved in this. Like, we really should collect that one. So there she goes. That was a great boost. I'm gonna die. It could be slots percent as well. Slots percent would be fair. Also, we need seven stars and some frogs. Sammy, Sammy, yep, not the wizard card expert after all. SMH. Does this guy even know anything about wizard cards? 
I have my doubts. <laughs> Doesn't even know about Bridget Wenlock. The best card. Sorry. Seven is the amount of brain cells I've left. Actually, so many, I'm like way below that. I think this star is probably worth it. It's kinda slow, but I think there are slower ones. Give me an interesting meme run idea on its own. Oh, okay, I'm curious. I hope everyone always writes those down, considering how often the queues are closed. No, 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 it's not valid to collect non non multiplies of seven. But but she's a, like a different case. She's a special case. For obvious reasons. That one that one we have to get, exactly. She's she's like uh you know, an exception, pretty much. This one though, behind the painting, is gonna be another one. <laughs> this run but upside down. Yeah, if it would be wrench having that idea, that, that would be the outcome. We have Fulbert the Fearful uh, was so scared that he never left his house until his roof collapsed due to a mis misfire of his wand or something. The best card. I, I think I was close at least. <laughs> the screen rotates by 7 uh, degrees every Oh, I didn't get potion ingredients, I just realized. Fucked. Uh... That's bad. That's annoying. It's okay, we'll still get to seven, I'm sure. I'll just get a lot of them in Bicorn. Hey, yeah, Lou as well. I, I know some at this point, like... Sammy knows them all, who's the one who requested this. And if you have him in chat a lot, then you kind of learn them. <laughs> there's there's no way around. Um, but how have you been? Good to see you around. We have Roland Keck W. I think the captain of the the British Gobstones team or something, I believe he is. I think that's his card text. Okay, we have seven stars, so I skip this one. And the last one as well. And we're good to go. I honestly, the texture in his card, I'm always confused by. The full what the fearful. He looks so different than the HP3 where it's like the first one. He was such a coward, he never left his house. Yes, that's what happened, exactly. And then a defensive charm, fair enough, but I got the gist of it, you know. Rolling Cake W is not the best card. He just has the best name. I, I like this guy. Just because of his last name. Really? We get to the bean bonus room? Is it worth to warp out of this? Probably, but actually, I guess it's kind of worth to collect beans. The more beans we collect now, the less we have to duel for, right? So, might as well. Card number one. <laughs> yeah, you can do the same thing with Merlin, but not really, because the multiply of multiples of one, you would have to get every card. Did you see how that frog got yeeted? Holy shit, that went far. I don't think I can get that, sadly. That is a bit too far, unfortunately. Dervin Shimpling? How could you forget about Dervin Shimpling? The worst card. Whoops, good movement. You Orvis. Hey, I had as well. Good to see both of you around. Fumas, good afternoon. Purple. Mm, why not every card number that includes seven? That's also, I mean, that would have also worked. That's true. I don't know. I'm sure Sammy thought something when he made the rule set. I kind of like multiple of seven, though. I guess both would have made sense. Oh, oops. Still better than the shopping percent lines. It doesn't get worse than that. Also, can you be good at this skip? Yes, you can. Okay, cool. Thank you. Only took me uh, being disappointed with myself. Okay, I gotta be kind of careful here. I know it's one of those cards that I need, but I actually don't know which one. Oh, the, the damage one? Nice. That's cool. See, you're starting to be an actual speedrun of this. Okay, that's the wrong one, I don't think. That's the one. No, Glenmore Peaks we don't need. That's cool, though. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. We got Crispin Kronk. Was sent to As Azkaban for having uh, swingses in his garden or something, I believe. I don't know. I read the Swedish text and I wasn't entirely sure what it meant, but something like that. Isn't there? There's, yeah, there's a thing here. Let's start our rise to seven potion ingredients. More like a slow runner. No, I do not accept that. 
Nobody's gonna steal that title away, okay? That's my niche. <laughs> Don't you dare. Okay. That was actually pretty fine. Question is, do we do the maze to get, like, the potion ingredients? I'm kinda tempted, but... Yeah, that's, that's on my card, yep. That would be on there. I mean, a lot of them I know, you know, a lot of them I somewhat know and then I just read the Swedish text to kind of, like, fill in the, the blanks. You wanna buy Tears of the Kingdom? It seems pretty cool. What's preventing you? I guess money? Is that actually the Durvin Shimpling lore? I've never looked into it further than just like hating him. <laughs> Can I get to the store that has it? Uh, you could still order it or buy it digitally, I guess. But yeah, fair enough. Swedish. Bra, bra, Fumos. Trollstown. That's pretty much, that's pretty much all there is. Is that actually, why is there even, yeah, why is there even Durvin Shimpling lore? Nah, it's all good though. No worry. No worries. <laughs> that's that's pretty much where it ends. I can also say knee. That's that's very Swedish as well. Yeah, lore about the character that everyone hates, of course. Durvin Shibling is an idiot. Okay. Three and two. Four more bark, which is very easy. The most important thing is really just mucus, because that's kind of hard to get. Like, bark is everywhere in, in a level that have bow truckles. Oh, really? What the hell? Kind of decent, though. The bingo knowledge, bingo knowledge coming in clutch with those actually helps quite a bit. Don't you dare. Seven horcruxes, yeah. Oh, another proof of the... The most powerful magical number. Voldemort is smart. Was not that smart when he made his Horcruxes, to be fair, and made them, like, really easy to find, but I like his general idea. <laughs> Seven movies, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Seven Harry Potter movies. Let's just not talk about HP4. That one never happened. Same as seven books. What is this, Cursed Child? The Cursed Book? Cursed Book never happened. Okay, we need three more mucus. That should be actually pretty easy. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten them in here. There's probably some faster mucuses, but... Eh. Again. Woo! Whatever. I don't need this part. I'm just here for the potion ingredients. Don't use them, though. That would be a problem. Um, okay, that was decent. Seven Weasley kits. Best of the Snape. That's what Molly and Mr. Weasley were going for, I see. <laughs> and I thought they just have too much free time, but no, they were actually going for the most powerful magical number. But it didn't really help though, you know, like... Didn't really protect the children, unfortunately. Uh, you'll see. The potions are thankfully not that big of an issue. I have my ways. <laughs> like in theory, yes, though. If you would play this glitchless, then yes. But thankfully, I uh, I know this game. That nah, the potions are not a problem as long as I don't accidentally run into a, po a cauldron. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Weasley. That was probably his idea. The Giga Chat idea. <laughs> We need to continue until we have seven kids. It's for magical reasons, so they're gonna be strong. Makes sense. Seven dwarfs. Oh yeah, that too. Seven is like a very weirdly uh, popular number. No, we just kind of thought, you know, why not? You can track those in the menu. We can get sevens in those. We might as well. They weren't initially requested, but... I like to expand on stuff on the fly, why not? Okay, a lot of stuff in Defender. A lot of cards, we need seven stars. Um, three cards, seven stars. That's our Defendo mission. Do I split here? No, I don't I don't know. This is Big Smoke's order, but I think this is uh, Defendo, or supposed to be. Thank you so much for the good luck, uh, Boruthio. I hope I didn't butcher the name too much, but welcome in. <laughs> Not sure what you wanted to tell us, Winter, but <laughs> I, uh, I'm just I'm just gonna ignore that. 
Uh, okay, so we need seven stars. First of all, do we have Leopoldina Smithwick? Ah, uh, something, something, which in Quidditch. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what that description says. My Swedish is not good enough for that. Thank you so much for the good luck, Yogurpal as well. Yeah, it's quite the extensive rule set, but it's actually not like too bad. You know, it's it's fairly easy to understand. Oh, the first one to be a, a referee, I see. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, seven stars. Which ones do I want to get? I know I skipped one at the start now. Yeah, uh, the best card, of course. Even though I didn't understand the card text, still the best card. Mm, there's stars after this. Yo, Rubik's as well. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Welcome to some HP2. That was weird. He talked at the same time as Madame Sprout, and that confused me. I know I want this star, but I think I'll do this. <clears throat> and then this. And then get the star. I think that's the fastest. That's a weird route, but I kind of like it. That's kind of fun. Yeah, there's no way I could have skipped this segment. There's just like too many stars here, so... I think it's good to go through here. We can skip the one in the long secret. Um, we can skip the one downstairs. And then I think we're, oh, we only need one more. Oh, I forgot it's 14 in Defindo. I'm an idiot. Of course, Defindo has like 20,000 stars. I forgot about that. So I didn't even have to worry at all. I could have just like picked up random ones kind of along the way. I was thinking as if it would be like only seven for some reason. But that's okay. And we just go to the end. Hey, Shadow. Thank you for the good luck, as always. Welcome in. I will never understand why they've done it like that. Like, why does the Findo have more stars? It just makes no sense. But anyways... Also, 14 is, you know, two times seven. Oh, look at this. The only reason Sam requested this, Elidora Kedrich. I think that's why he made it a multiply, a multiple of seven, by the way. Um, because, you know, he wanted this card in there. Uh, I genuinely don't know what she did. Don't tell him that if he joins in at some point. She did something. <laughs> but it's, a, it's his favorite card, though. So I'm pretty sure that's the actual reason. There's a better star in the way at some point. The best card, though. And Lord Stoddard Withered, breeder of flying horses. They're the best card. Those were two in a very, very short succession. Oh, number uh, 49 and number 21, by the way. Very good multiples of seven, of course. Yeah, he's, he's a cool card. The Lord. <laughs> the only other Lord in the Harry Potter franchise, apart from uh, Voldy. That's the seventh star. Pretty good defender. I like my route in this, honestly. All multiplies of seven are the best cards. That's true. Oh yeah, that's her. Yeah, yeah, true. She she figured out the uh, properties of Gillyweed exactly, exactly. Thanks for the reminder. For the mental refresher. Okay, cool. Sticking her head into a puddle of water. Pretty much that. Also, look at this. This secret is even useful in this because we have number 77, Novel Twonk. I genuinely... Oh, I d uh, is that the guy that protected a, sh a child from like an, an attack and got a Merlin's order for it? I think that's the guy. He missed a card in Riktu. I hope not a multiple of seven though, but I, I might have missed a couple cards. I think this all wizard card run is not going to be very valid anymore. I think so, yeah. I think I think that's the one. I think that's what he did. Uh, why do I play it in Swedish? I apparently do not have an English version installed that works. <laughs> I wanted to play in English as well, but my client is, like, broken. But to be fair, it doesn't really change much. I know most of the cards. And the ones we don't know, I get... Uh, Help from chat. Oh, Submit as warpless. I guess that works. Okay, it's fine. We, we tried. We tried to do cool, cool boosts. The cool boost didn't want to cooperate. Yo, comical. Good afternoon. How is the moving going? Welcome in. Welcome to some... 
meme runs. Okay, let's see. We got number 28, Tilly Toke. Another person that got a Merlin's order for... Oh, that's the ones. Mm, I, I don't know how I would even translate that. I know what that card is. This I It's like really stupid. <laughs> Successful finished my moving drive. Nice, let's go. So essentially you're almost like, almost there, right? Yeah, dragon attack the beach filled with, uh, what's the animal called in English? Praying, uh, praying mantises? Is that, is that the word? I believe that's what it is. Wait, I can get this one as well. That's another one. The best card, sorry. Yep, and we got... Mr. Bowman Wright, number 35, inventor of the Golden Snitch. Yeah, yeah, that's the... you can chill now, essentially, and the rest just do like, you know, you can do it slow and steady. That's the good thing. The worst part is over, essentially. Do I have two or more monitors? I have two. Uh, I do not need to go into Dumbledore's office, so we can just swiftly skip past that one. That's cool. Um, the, the, the category exclamation mark rules essentially explains it, I think. I usually set that up for meme runs. Bertie bot the best card. Wait, actually, no, it's not. I mean, it is number 69, but it's not a multiple of seven. So, uh... Also, I guess another reason it's a multiple of seven is so we don't have to go into gold cards. Because gold cards would really ruin this. Because you would have to get other cards that don't have sevens in their name. Or in their, like, description. Is this gonna work? Oh, okay. Muggles. Okay, I think it was translated different in, in the German one, but yeah. Warpless and Valor. No, I can still submit this to any percent, though. I'm sure I'll beat my PB. That's totally not, like, gone already at this point. No, no, we got this. Hey, Pax. Warping is really easy. Warping is literally just pressing buttons. <laughs> like, it, there's really not much to it once you know the button combination. At least doing it, like, slow. Uh, but yeah, how's it going, Pax? How's the day been? Hope you don't feel as tired as yesterday anymore, and, uh, welcome to some meme runs. Okay, so that's a Slytherin. How many beans do we have? 191. Okay. Uh, I guess we get the final potion ingredients in the forest? Or something? That's probably a good idea. Just so we can make sure to make the potion soon as well. The only issue is, if I have seven potions and then I drink one on accident, then I'm gonna have a problem. <laughs> okay, like, dropping to six would be bad. I don't know how to recover from that, but let's, let's just hope I'm good enough to not do that. And to not drink a potion randomly. Um, that's another warp. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't Woo! want. Uh, accidentally dropping below seven. That would be the only annoying thing. Oh, I like this theme. Okay, we almost have 200 beans, which is also nice. Oh, wow. 25, 25 pages of your project thing. <clears throat> well, that's some good progress, though. That's pretty sick. Almost done. That's pretty nice. Do, do, do. Where am I going? <laughs> Imagine warping down the stairs and then still going up for some reason. Whoops. That's fine. We're good. I totally know what I'm doing. I've played this game before. It's kind of nice though. No number, no card with the multiple of seven in Goyle or Slytherin. Surprisingly. I mean, 25 pages is a lot, honestly. 25 pages of writing? That's a ton. That would have taken me forever. Definitely deserved food. That's a yo, human. Peepwee, how's it going? We're, we're doing quite a bit of HP2 today. Welcome in. <laughs> Nothing magical about Slytherin. Oh, exactly. That's that's what this run teaches us. Okay. We're back to Harry. 
It's all kind of falling into place. It's kind of a cool run, I gotta say. I like magic number percent. It's actually quite fun. I wish there would be a way to lose house points in this that's not McGonagall, or not just McGonagall. So we could actually maybe try to, like, get a multiple of seven in house points as well. Maybe we're just lucky and we get one anyways. Wait, this is Spongify, right? Whoops. That's fine. Slytherins are known to kill their uncles. <laughs> Someone sounds like Geordie again. <laughs> but they, they are. That's a good point. Yo, Wiggy as well. Good afternoon. Welcome in. Okay, cool. Concentrate on the symbol in front of you. Spongify has, unfortunately, has a card, so we can't just boost out of it. But we can boost a bit higher, so we can like skip half of it at least. Also, yep, seven arrow keys. True. Three times seven arrow keys. Another magical number, man. This is such a magical run. I gotta say. The best spell. Of course, Spon I mean, to be fair, Spongify is the best spell, let's be honest. I don't think I split here. Okay. Cutscene skip. So we do need one of the cards in here. We also need seven stars. Oh, I'd love to know how many stars are in the second half of this. I actually don't. But I guess if it's not enough, we can always, like, go back and backtrack. Right? <laughs> I don't actually know. Is this gonna close the door? No, cool. So we can get this star at least. <laughs> nice wrench. Always, always on point though. Still, still impressive, I gotta say. What? Harry, stop swimming in midair, please. Do your spell. Okay, so this is the card we need. Is there four stars left? I'm not sure. I think there might not be. <laughs> but we got number 97, the highest multiple of seven in this run. Albrecht Grunion, the inventor of the stink bomb. Stink pellets, whatever they call them. Dung bombs, whatever. It's one of those. <laughs> I don't know what the exact English term is. Wait, there's a star here, though, that I kind of want. Um, wait a second. We do that. We do that a different way. Ninety-seven is a multiple of seven. No, oh, of course it is. Wait, what did I just do? <laughs> yeah, actually, true. No, it isn't, is it? Now that I think about it, ninety-eight is. Yeah. Why did I collect ninety-seven? Wait a second. I was, for some reason, thinking, like, 70 and 27, but 27 isn't. I mean, it's fine. I died. It's okay. So, who is 98? Oh, God. I hope we didn't miss 98. Um. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait. Emergency. Emergency meetings. Sponge challenge. Drawbridge crabs. Ah, that one. Okay, that one's fine. That one I can do. See, we're okay, chat. I'll just die again voluntarily. See, we got our... We were fine. I just wanted to go back through here so we get some more stars and stuff. Wait, this is not gonna work, is it? <laughs> I don't think you can back... Oh, yeah, well... <laughs> uh, that's that's okay. We, we might have a bit of a problem in this Spondify challenge, but... We can always re-enter if we have to, right? So, it's fine. Let's just go back here for now. But no, this is gonna close though. I'm gonna be screwed. I can't do that. We'll have to re-enter. It's fine. We'll just re-enter. Well, I guess we have to replay this entire challenge. But that's okay. At least it's not run over. It's it's fine. We'll do that again, but better. <laughs> it's okay. We'll get our seven stars and we'll get the correct card. It's, it's okay. We didn't collect anything wrong. We died after, so... You end with 14 cards, and also substrate from 7, that's true. Well, actually, we're gonna end with 15, though, because we collected the one that's, like, uh... That invented the properties of the number 7, <laughs> pretty much. Oh, you did note all the numbers? That's good. I only have all the locations, I actually didn't look into the numbers. There's so many stars here. I guess it makes sense that I was short last time. 
That's okay. Spongify. Four. And there's five here. That's actually even better, because that means we only have to play the beginning. This could have been so smooth and Spongify <laughs> if I didn't go for the wrong card. That's okay, though. We're fine. I still... I still... Oh, what? Oh, I didn't realize we had no health. I don't need this potion anyways, so... Just potentially gonna be a difficult snake fight, because I have to do it potionless now. Should have just done that, <laughs> to be fair, instead of drinking the potion, but oh well. Oh, Harry? You okay? Alright, so, of course, I knew this is the card we needed. It is number 98, Dimfta Firmage. She was famous for being kidnapped by Pixies on her vacation in Cornwall, and later on petitioned at the Ministry of Magic to have all pixies humanely destroyed. I don't know how you destroy something humanely, but yes. <laughs> she had a vision and she was fighting for it, you know, you gotta gotta admire that. Um, is there a star I can get here? This is like really stupid, isn't it, to make this not close. I think there's a way... I don't know why I'm trying this. I'm sure there's an easier star. Oh, there was a star in the room I just left, actually. I'm stupid. I shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, I like that. I could have made that. Uh, but I think the easier one is just here. I don't know why Spongify is such a train wreck right now. Oh, I just wanted the, the Scourgey as well, of course. So we're on seven almost. Seven stars. Okay, cool. I can finally leave this challenge after I kind of Pepe got everywhere, but it's okay. We got there. Could have been worse. Yeah, that was. I think that was also part of the idea that we don't have to go to gold cards, because if we if we would have to go to gold cards, it means we would have to collect other cards that are not dividable by seven. So it would kind of like ruin the theme, right? So. You don't have the chill tech. We speed run. We're serious people. We don't. We don't chill. Oh, we have Spongify in the bean bonus room. Oh, that's my favorite thing. This is actually my favorite thing. I love this. All of those cutscenes are so stupid, but. <laughs> well, I think b both of those should reconsider being cards. Really. I still kind of like that like description though. I guess. <laughs> Imagine having someone humanely destroyed. Well, how nice. How nice to add the humanely. That's important. Actually, I have like a good chunk of beans. I might not even have to duel like that much. Hopefully. Because we got quite a bit. It's such a fun room when you have all the spells, I gotta say. It's very, very fun to empty this as well. Which is like not easy, but it's doable, so... Like you need a lot of time for it, essentially. Okay. No 69th. You need to make your own run for that. What is 69 even a multiple of? Three, obviously, but... Apart from that, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you have enough time, you can get all the beans. Like, just you just need to get 10 stars in every other challenge. And essentially, you just play them relatively fast. But we do that in max percent, essentially. Well, and I guess it's a multiple of 23 f from for that exact reason, but... It's a multiple of 69 and 1, that's true. But I think that's about it, right? I don't know why what I just did there. That's not how you quit it, Warp. Uh, hey, Retro. Wait, what's that emote? <laughs> That's a cool emote. Tjena, Harry. How's it going, Welcome in. Vi köper i stor pack och hela förtjänsten går dig till godo. Yeah, that, that logic technically works for literally every card. But, you know, obviously Bertie bought still the best card. Number 69. How do you beat that, right? Absolutely no shot. Okay. Um, I have to keep in mind to get the other potion ingredients. 
I have to keep an eye on those. But apart from that, we should be fine. Imagine if gnomes had a chance to steal cards. Well, at least you could recover them from them, usually. I mean, you, you can recover the beans and stuff, so... The cards should be recoverable as well. That would be kind of cool for a custom map. <laughs> Just the shock that the player goes through. Just to see their faces, I'd love to see that in a map at some point. Okay, nothing to do in forest, we just have to play it fast. And I guess get potion ingredients, so... It's an orchestra come it's outside my window. That would be a very weird date for it, but maybe. Yo, Ryan. Hello to you. Welcome to some magic that we're doing today. Actually, a lot of magic today. It's a, ma it's a game about magic and we do stuff with the most magical of numbers. I mean, I would have absolutely no idea how you would do that, but uh, I'd love to see that as a troll at some point in the map. Sempra. Oh wow, that pixie got kind of close to blocking me, but I don't think they have a hitbox when they're falling down, so... Would have been fine no matter what. Nice. Actually, good boost. Actually gaming when it's meme runs. Not playing poorly for once. Because of course, when it doesn't matter, we're actually doing okay. The normal, the usual. Yeah, that was actually a good run. Okay, we need this. We need this. I mean, we're not done with it yet, but... I enjoyed the concept of it quite a bit. That's the final one. Seven wing tree barks. What? Huh? What am I doing wrong? Five? Genuinely don't know how I failed that five times. Should have jumped back down twice more, to be fair, for the satisfaction. Uh, I could get the... Mm, yeah, I think I'll I think I'll do it here. It's probably the easiest spot to do it in. So we have seven ingredients each. Good. And we have seven potions, and that is the magical number three times. Look at us go. Hawk us. Are we really surprised about that though, Ron? I mean everyone likes chicken, so of course they built them. Chicken are great. This Nix guy uploaded a YouTube video. Let's go. This Nix guy got world record like a month ago and was very slow uploading that. Thanks for the good luck to him. Looking good to see you around. You, Sammy, as well. Nice help. Yeah, that's the that's the scary thing. Like, I have to not accidentally drink it or something. And I have to make sure to do Basilisk Potionless. So, a seven C. Yeah, honestly, we might need a seven snake cycle. Given that I kind of have to be careful with health. Hey, just as well. Good afternoon, evening, whatever it is. Because it is evening more than anything. Hope everything's well. Oh, again. Woo! Yeah, that's true. If if I actually need another potion, I'll just make seven more and just like keep on falling, keep on tumbling down the grand staircase. No seven duelists defeated. But we also need the beans. Uh, maybe we can. We'll see. We'll see how many beans we need in the end. Yeah, I still have that one, surprisingly. Do we get a health upgrade? Oh, we get so close to a health upgrade. One bronze card. Those seven gold cards. Okay, now you're getting ridiculous, chat. If I would have to get seven gold cards, then I would have to get a lot of silver cards that don't have the number seven in their, in their, in their number. So, that would be ridiculous. We can't do that. Yo, Mythic. Good evening. Yeah, Henrik just teased it as well. <laughs> but thank you, thank you, Wrench. Always always the best promotion in here. It's good. Really? It's good. Might as well do 100% at this point. <laughs> but 100% is not 7%. I kind of want this guy. I'm sure this is my seventh chocolate frock, of course. Easy, no problem. I'm sure I haven't counted, but this feels like it would have been the seventh chocolate frock. 
We just do seven 100% runs. Yep, that's... <laughs> that totally doesn't take long or anything. Dude! I've started HP1 again. I really have to unbind this when I play HP2. It's so annoying. Seven tries for Scourge Snipe. Oh my god, I love this. The launch. Yeah, that was that was what I was going for, of course. It's, I guess I have my own Discord server now. I'm still not sure if I do, actually, Henrik, you know. <laughs> I, I just, I, I'm not sure. Every time I wake up, I'm not certain. That's what that mes message conveys. Uh, have you been, Scourgey? Good afternoon. How's the Wednesday been going? Uh, I will try to be in the Chungus tournament. Like, I literally have no time on the first weekend for Chungus. Like, I talked to Portal about it, and we can probably make it, so I play on the second and third. I'm still not fully decided, though. Because it's, like, right after I'm back from vacation and stuff. I might just want to do stuff on my own, like, longer runs again or something. We'll see. I, I kind of want to sign up, but we'll see. Not fully sure. Okay. Yeah, it's weird that we're both like unable to do that there, Henrik. That's. Oh, wait, it's not a Hess. Why am I doing this? <laughs> I don't need this jump. I just need number 91, Wilfred Elphick, who uh, got killed by an African rampant. I think the only one or something? I don't know. I'm just gonna duel to get the rest of the beans. That's the plan for now. Yeah, we'll see. I'd, I'd love to, but I'm not sure yet, time commitment-wise. In a job interview? Oh, best of luck. I mean, I say that a lot of times, but usually whenever people talk about their job interviews in this chat, they end up getting the job. Like, 99% of the time, they come back next couple of days and they say they got it, so... I, I like your chances. I like your chances. I'm glad it went well as well. That's cool. Henrik live commentating my run. That would, okay, that would actually be kind of cool. I mean, to be fair, we could also do that, Henrik. We, but, but, like, it would be kind of stupid. You go to Germany and then we play Chungus. <laughs> like, I don't know. Technically, we could, but... You had a job interview yesterday. It is actually true, though. Like, a lot of times that did actually happen, so best of luck. I really do not like my health situation. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Should do it for the content. <laughs> I mean, I'll, we'll, I'll DM you about it, we'll see. Job hunting like crazy. Yeah, this chat is like going places, I'm going to say. I'm very impressed with this chat. <laughs> yeah, let's hope it's not the same job. Maybe they need two people. Oh my god. That is some damage. Yeah, I still wish you like the absolute best of luck for that. That's such a cool position. Okay! Just destroyed that snack. That was very decent. And that on like low health. I'll take it. We got like a weird crit, so not fully my my me being good. I mean, that is also true, Wrench. They did do that. I only play well when it's a meme. Hey, I got two cycles before. How come you lose no health? Uh, you just gotta touch it on the corner, essentially. Like, it, you know, you don't wanna you don't wanna stay all the way in the puddle, but it's also kinda RNG, like the snake poison is dumb. Come on. It's not quite GG's yet. We still need 777 beans. 588, is this a multiple of seven? By any chance. <laughs> Does anyone know? Is it actually a multiple of 7? 84 times 7 is 588, is that true? Like, I have absolutely no idea. That could be true. Yes? Oh my god, let's go. C, C, easy. House points multiple of 7. Calculated. Second calculated. So we could just beat those seven duels, but I don't know where I get the other car and the other beans from if I do that. Because we need another hundred beans. Can I get a hundred beans just in the castle? Because that would be perfect, only beating seven duels. 
Surely there's over a hundred beans in the castle. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I think there should be. We'll try it. We'll just go around collecting some beans. We max percent now. Listen, ponte to the prata. I guess why not? I guess we even have to go down here and stuff. There, there should be a lot. There's a scarce. It's, I like the idea though. I, I really thought it was quite fun. You could duel them again. You're absolutely way too smart. We have 666 though. That's kind of cool. Why did I not think about that? <laughs> Seven stars in Gryffindor challenge. Ah, uh, it won't be open. We c yeah, you know what? We can do that as well. Fuck it. While we're at it. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think about that. The um, dueling them again. That's that's way too smart. I mean, collecting them in the castle is more fun, but we also need to end on a 107, right? You know, don't forget about that. We have two minutes. Okay, let's just assume or imagine this opens. Thank you for the good luck as well. How are you doing? Sponge. Oh, Sponge for Hando is a good one, though. I'm looking forward. Okay, we need to get to 707 for the duel. So I need a couple more beans. And then we're good. Thank you so much. How's it going, N3? Hope you're uh, doing well. You started following April 7th, of course. It is all connected after all. God, Spawner for any percent is banned. That one can fuck off. <laughs> that one can actually fuck off. Yeah, that is PC RNG. Spawner for any percent I never want to do again. Like, literally. It's just awful. And that's any percent in Valor too. That's how we roll on this channel. Wait, how do you... Okay, you know what? We'll just get the other star. We'll just get the one up here. We'll just get the one up here. This is doable, right? Yes. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Okay. Uh, one more star. Mm, I guess we'll just do this. I don't, that's the only one I can think of. Sponge if I was the scariest god, I hated the Ms. The Ms scared the hell out of me, actually. There's a lucky 7 second glitch on Final Fantasy 7. Of course there is. That's a lot of 7s, once again. I like it, oh god, I don't want those beams. No! I don't think we'll get it in 107, chat. I have, I have the feeling we won't. <laughs> I apologize already, but that's seven stars in the Gryffindor challenge, so we're good. Um, we'll just end on like, you know, we'll, we'll end on something with a seven. Yeah, I don't think I want to wait until 117, that's a bit much. Um, but yeah, there we go, chat. We got 777 beans, a multiple of seven, a lot of sevens in here. All cards that are multiples of seven, including this one, the one who found out the properties of the number seven. We've beaten seven duelists, we're number four, but that doesn't matter. Secrets, bah. Sure. Uh, just only on this map, though, as not every map has seven secrets. That's cool though, Remy. Stuff like that is fun. So uh, I, I'd say you should keep that up. Peeves in the fight. Peeves is just very loud. Peeves and Aragog are just incredibly loud. We need two more. Which are easy one? This one's easy and shouldn't actually lose. Well, like give me beans. Nice. And then I guess this one. 7th of June is your final school day. Let's go. That's not too much longer. That's pretty hype. You, Mark Rich. Thank you for the good luck. 7 out of 12. There you go. Just for your menu completion. Just f for people to uh, feel better. I mean, me, me as well. I feel better now as well. You tried speeding yourself. Oh, which game did you speedrun? I think you told me about that at some point. Yeah. It is, it is stressful, but, you know, it can be fun as well. I just missed the 47. I don't quite know how long the... No! Uh! Oh, also all good. There you go. 
Oh, it's a 58! Um. <laughs> late split, late split, it's fine, late split. Uh, fuck the. Ah, there we go. See? Perfect. Perfect seven. Everything's perfect. We got seven here, 777 beans. We got our sevens on the timers, which are definitely legit. This is a multiple of seven, of course. All the cards are in order. Uh, who cares about which? We beat seven duelists. It's perfect. This was the very magical run. Took me seven hours. Was one hell of a run, I gotta say. But, um... We got there in the end. It was just, just a long thing to do. That was very fun. I enjoyed that. Very good idea of a meme run.